Welcome to my Saturday Canva animation challenge and today we are on day one and I'm going to start with a really fun one and it's just this really cute, engaging, colourful pop animation effect. Let's dive into the tutorial. We're starting off the 30 day animation challenge with a really fun, cute one today. I'm just going to play it for you again so you can see that we just have this really nice pop out colourful effect with the image of the cow and we can apply this to anything from cats, dogs, pets, people. It's a really interesting way to add a little bit of interest and fun to the animation we're creating. So I'm going to break this down for you and recreate it. And first of all I've just went into the photo library in Canva and I, I just searched for, I think I just put funny animal and there was quite a few obviously from with hippos and dogs and cats and stuff and yeah I just decided to use the cow. So once we have the image I went up to edit photo and remove the background and I'm going to make sure it's centered in the bottom of the page here and then I'm just going to reduce the size a little bit and make sure it's lined in the middle and we need to copy and paste the photo and we're going to go back into edit photo and this time down to duotone and from in here I've just selected a variety of colours but you can change these colours in here if you know the hex codes for your own brand colours for example you can go in and tailor them very much to your own colour palette and scheme and then we just need to enlarge it a little so that it's a bigger size than the one in front go to position and we'll send it to the back. I'm not going to have it quite so big. Size so here and then we're going to repeat that. We're going to then go back into edit photo and we're going to go back into duotone and choose a contrasting colour that will stand out from the one we've already did and again then increase it in size and always making sure that we align it in the middle and now you can repeat this as many times as you wish I'm just going to repeat again till we've got all our colours in place so now I have all the colours and variations that I want now I'm going to change my background and again I went into photos and I've just done bloody gradient and just scrolled through until I found one that I like so now I have the image and I'm going to set that image to background so we now have our image to background and I find it easier to design what I want the effect to look like first and then go back to doing our first page to show the transition. So now if we copy and duplicate the page, this time we need to just the size of the images so that they are hidden behind the original cow. And again, you'll notice I am being careful just to select from the corner because if we change the proportions at all of this image then the match and move no longer works and that's the number one problem that I see people having when doing this technique is they actually change the proportions of the original image. So we've got all those hidden now but what we need to do is swap it round so it sits in the first page rather than it being the effect showing first. I'm going to reduce the length of the effect so and then what we need to do is add a little match and move transition so we've got to match and move. Now what you'll notice is when we slowly hover across do you notice that the original image of the cow seems to be blurring into focus as well and we don't want that to happen so to avoid that happening we need to go onto the second screen copy the cow place it in front and now do you notice when we are scrolling across and doing the match and move that cow is not fading in and out anymore because we have that second original image placed directly on the front so that is how we get this technique to work smoothly and then all we need to do is it got a text box typed in happy cow make sure it's aligned to the middle i then went and got the font is called le petit and i'm going to change the color to white and i'm going to also give it a little bit of a curve shape so we do that we go into effects and down to the bottom to curve 
unless it's too much I'm just going to reduce this down to about 60% curve so I wanted to have a little bit of movement for this first slide so on the first slide I'm going to copy the text but place it down just above the cow and then you'll see now that when we transition it moves up to where we had it in the second place and from there we are going to locate these two pages, three wee dots, duplicate and just make sure we've got them in the right order but on this one here we don't want it to move back down to the original position so I'm going to delete that, I'm going to copy the text from this one and paste it in place so when you do command c command v it'll just paste exactly in place and this time what i'm going to do is i'm going to increase it in size and still place it in the middle and if you, again you want to check your position you can go to arrange and layers and make sure it's exactly in the center and so now what will happen is you can see that it changes size when it's just on the cow and then again we can just repeat these steps again just go to the three dots duplicate page move it across and then the other one move it across and once we've copied them several times we have to add the match and move and then when i play it from the start we have the movement now happening with the text the colourful effect. Now you can, if you want, increase the length of time or make it shorter, faster, quicker. You can very much tailor them to yourself. And then once you have the effect and you're happy with the timings, if you just go up to share and download and you want to download as an mp4 file as a video because this is how the animation is going to work you can share it on your socials as reels um, and instagram you can put it on facebook you can add it to your website as a video file um, and you can even send it to people directly through your phone so this is ways that you can use this effect and um, hope you enjoy that one and please remember to stay tuned for day two's animation Make sure you check out all 30 tutorials that I'm going to be posting this month. If you want a wee sneaky peek, here's the next tutorial that's coming up tomorrow.